Hello and welcome back to Infinity Remote Control. I'm John and in this video I'm going to be showing you the basics of the Easy Peak Plus Traxxas Charger. So whatever you power it on you're going to be greeted with this, with this screen. And this is basically saying your battery type, nickel metal hydrate, and what you're going to be doing, I'm going to be charging, and the number of amps. So for this video I am going to be charging a 3S LiPo, as you can see right here. Now this is an EcoPower 11.1 volt 3400 milliamp hour LiPo. Now before charging your LiPo you need to understand your LiPo. This is your capacity. It's 3.4 amps. You are okay to charge your LiPo at 1C or 1 times the capacity, which means that I can charge this at 3,400 milliamp hours or 3.4 amps. Now, for safety purposes, I only like to charge my LiPos at 1C, but you can also charge this particular battery at up to 2C, which means that I can charge it at twice the capacity. So I can charge it at twice 3.4 amps. So I can charge it at 6.8 amps. Now, um, I don't really like doing that because I don't have much of a rush, but if I am in a bit of a, a time crunch, I will charge these batteries at 2 amps. Now, or sorry, at 2C. If you charge it at 1C, it's going to take you one hour to charge. If you charge at 2C, it's going to take you two hours to, or sorry, 30 minutes to charge. So if I'm charging it at 3.4, amps that means that it's going to put 300 or 3400 milliamp hours into it in one hour so let's get started first I'm going to want to go down here and let's try to show you this just a little bit better to battery type now I'm just going to press that and that's going to take me to program select here I have nickel metal hydrate nickel cadmium PB which is going to be your lead acid batteries save data and also load data now I'm not going to be showing you that because it's a bit advanced I just want to get you started charging so let's go once more user set program that's going to be setting some of your um, setting or that's going to be set going into your settings and seeing like how long uh, your maximum charge can be uh, temperatures that kind of stuff go once more and you're greeted with lipo battery does this have LIFE? No, it does not. Okay, so this is your LiPo battery. I'm gonna take my Dean's connection and plug it into the charger. Then I'm gonna take my balance plug that's provided with the charger and plug my 3S into the 3S port. All right, with that done, we will now select LiPo battery. To select your battery type after scrolling through and finding <clears throat> LiPo, I'm going to hit start. And now that's gonna take me into the different LiPo settings. Now I can scroll through with the status buttons. I can say LiPo charge, LiPo balance, LiPo fast charge, which is going to be a little bit briefer on the balancing, and LiPo storage. Now, you want to store your LiPos at about half of the full capacity. I'm not very good about doing that, um, but it is something that you want to do uh, if you're not going to be driving uh, your cars for a full week, uh, you know, if you're going to be putting them away after a fun day over the weekend, but I'm not doing that. There's also LiPo Discharge, so you can discharge your LiPo, which is basically taking capacity out of it. I don't do LiPo charging because that's not balancing the cells, and you want to balance your cells when you're charging so that each cell has the same voltage. So it's very important that you don't LiPo charge, and this is a common misconception. A lot of people think LiPo charge, ooh, that's what I want, I want to charge my LiPo. You also want to lipo balance, which is lipo um, charging, but also balancing the cells. 
Now, I told you that I like to charge at 1C, which means the capacity. So I'm going to go ahead and one click of enter or start is going to bring me to flashing capacity or charge rate. So I'm going to go down to 3.4 amps. If you hold, it will go through a little bit quicker. And now I'm at 3.4 amps or 3,400 milliamps. Then I'm going to click start again or enter and that will take me over to my voltage. Now this is capable of charging all the way up to a 6S. So it not only tells you how many cells but also the voltage. I told you that I was going to be charging a 3S so I'm going to go down to there. One more click of enter is going to set these settings for me. Now to start charging all I have to simply do is go ahead and hold down enter and what it's going to do is it's going to check to make sure everything is hooked up properly and that I did everything the right way. Once it's happy with me and once it knows that all the connections are perfect it will either say cancel by clicking stop or confirm by clicking enter. Well I obviously want to charge this battery so I'm going to go ahead and click enter. You'll be greeted with this screen right here is going to be what uh, capacity um, the charger is putting into or what, what charge rate the charger is charging at. So this battery that I'm charging is almost completely full but if you would just run it in your car for a couple minutes you're going to be all the way up at the full capacity that you're charging at. Over here it tells you what the status of your LiPo is. Now normal LiPos hold 4.2 volts per cell or 12.6 volts for a 3 cell LiPo and that's something that some people are uh, misunderstand. They think that your LiPo is only 11.1 .1 volts. Well no that's actually not true. It's 12.6 volts for a 3S. Now here is going to be your time uh, counting up and here is going to be the amount of milliamp hours <clears throat> or the number of milliamp hours that the charger has put into the LiPo. I can go ahead and start to scroll through settings. This is going to show you each individual cell. Cell 1, cell 2, cell 3, cell 4, cell 5, and cell 6. Now this is only a 3 cell battery so I only have 3 cells. Cell 1 is at 4.18 volts, cell 2 is at 4.19 volts, and cell 3 is at 4.18. Now 1.9, now 1.8. What this is doing is this is balancing each cell so that they all have the same voltage uh, by the time that it, the charger is done charging. We can continue to scroll through and you can also go back from there. I'll show you that again. So by just clicking the plus all you're going to be going through is balance set and um, typical screen. So cells and then your normal screen. Now if I go to cells then I press back it's going to go to end voltage. Well that's what the end voltage is. Capacity cutoff. Um, this charger will not charge more than 5,000 um, milliamp hours because I don't have any lipos bigger than that. I have a safety timer on here. All of these are settings that you can do uh, to tell a charger when it should cut off. So there are just a couple settings and then to go back to the main screen you can either wait or just hit the plus button. So those are the basic or those are the basics to charging. Now say that you need to go. All you have to do is just hold down stop and it will stop charging. Want to start charging again? Hold down. It's checking my battery. Everything's okay. Let's go ahead and hit start. And now the LiPo is back in charging again. So that's basically all that you need to know when charging a LiPo battery. Nickel metal hydrate batteries are a little bit easier to charge. Um, but it follows the same kind of idea. You just don't need to know the voltage of the battery itself. I hope that this video helped. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any more questions or future suggestions that I should do with this charger, um, comment them down below. Thanks for watching and talk to you later.